Hello guys! Did you know that you can work anywhere in the world as a nurse? Do you know that you can work in UAE, Dubai? I know it's your dream to visit Dubai for vacation, but you know there are so many healthcare job openings in there for doctors, nurses, and anything else you can think of. Okay, if you didn't know, welcome to the information hub where we give it to you back to back because we have the right information. UAE, Dubai is a good place for nurses to work. Can you believe that nurses leave US? UK, Italy, Germany to go work in Dubai anyway. I'm happy to have a friend here again who is from Cameroon, but she works in Dubai as a registered nurse. She has the master's in nurse anesthesiology. Yes, she's a big shot and she works in Dubai and she's going to take, take us through the process. And you know of USRM Pathway Cons Consult, the first processing consult for nurses in Africa? Okay, I happen to be the lead consultant for US I'm in part of the consult, as you can see on the screen. We help you with your nursing processing so that your credentials can match the American standard so you can use them to work in the US after you pass the NCLEX. And the whole US process is cumbersome, you don't know how to do it. Okay, we are here to guide you. So I'm happy to have Fiona here today. Watch this and apply. Take the opportunity. She doubles as a, a consultant so she can assist you through the process and also she is a YouTuber in the making. So watch out for her videos and uh, share this video with other people. I'm so glad that uh, this channel is helping so many of you. Welcome all new subscribers. This is the Priscilla Kuma you've heard about. This is my face and I'm glad to be doing this and I'm glad to be impacting lives. So support the course. Find us on Facebook at USR and Battle Consult. Okay, guys, Fiona is here. She's a Cameroonian. As I said, she works in Dubai and she's going to tell us all about what it takes to work as a nurse in Dubai, the requirements. And as I said, people are living in the UK and US. Dubai is the next hard shot people are working at. There are so many healthcare job opportunities and many of you do not know. So she's here to tell us. And that's her upcoming YouTube name on the screen. Just watch out. As soon as the YouTube goes live, I would share it here for you to go subscribe to her. She's very, very knowledgeable. She has a master's in nurse anesthesiologist. And she's a big shot. Very much for having me. Can you please introduce yourself again? <laughs> Hi, I'm Fiona. I'm a registered nurse in the UAE. I'm originally Cameroonian from West Africa. And I've been studying nursing like for five years of my life right now. I've been working as a nurse for the past six years. And I've been in Dubai less than a year now. That I feel it's something to talk about. So I'm really, really happy to tell you much about working as a nurse in Dubai. Okay. So you had your nursing in Cameroon, correct? Yes, yes. I had my bachelor's degree in Cameroon in 2015. So after your first degree, you went immediately to get your master's. What did you study? After my first degree in July 2015, and I enrolled for a master's program in October 2015 in anesthesia and critical care nursing. Wow. I've been eyeing the program. <laughs> it's a big shot. Yeah, but trust me, it's not an easy not to crack at the master's level, even back home in Cameroon, because the course is, the master's program is in French, like pure French, and um, yeah, I'm originally from an English background. I've studied English all my life, and See me in the French class, everything is in French, was I rien and everything. But we had to get through it, so I was able to finish off, finished up in 2018, and I have my master's degree in my back, so that's fine. Yeah, just so if you didn't know, Cameroon has the English part and the French part, just like Canada, where they have the French part and the English part. So she's multilingual, and I'm proud of you for that. So what? How did you find out you can work in Dubai? What, how did you come across this opportunity that you currently own? How did you find it? Okay, concerning Dubai, it was, I got to know about nursing opportunities in Dubai through my husband who moved here to work in 2019. So when he came, he found out some, he realized that there were always nurses in demands here. Yeah. And when we try to compare how it's paid the the pay rates with what we are giving back home, we found that we were taking like peanuts back home. Meanwhile, something much better was here. 
And also, I had a few friends who were working here, not in the nursing sector, though, but they always told me, if you're not in nursing, since your husband is here, if you come here, you will get a good job, especially when you get your license, trust me. So, we decided to look, to look more into it, and here we are today. Okay. So, walk me through the process. How can somebody watching this in Cameroon, Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana, wanting to work in UAE, Dubai, to be specific, how can they find this opportunity and what is the process? Where do I start from? Okay. In order to be able to work here as a registered nurse, you should, first of all, have a bachelor's degree in nursing. You should have two years working experience back home. Then you should be registered with your nursing council back home as well. Also, you should have a certificate of good standing, which is provided by your nursing council, showing that it's a proof that you are a good nurse and you do not have any charges or any outstandings against you. Mm -hmm. um, you should have a passport for sure. Yeah. You are need passport size photographs. Mm -hmm. I think that with that, you're, you're set to start the process. The process is in three different stages. The first part is the data flow verification. This, in this first part, your documents, all the credentials you have attained, all the work experiences you have had are being verified by an organization called data flow they are verified back home that's the organization goes back to your country and they make sure everything you submitted in the system is exactly what you have written so they verify this process once the verification is over you get a reply a report the report can be positive or negative positive means all what you said you have all your experiences your credentials and everything are good and they are valuable. Negative means probably you do not meet one or two requirements. Maybe your work experience is not enough or your bachelor's degree doesn't meet or something. Mm -hmm. So after this first part, we now move on to the second part to so register for your exams. The Dubai Health Authority exams. You write the exams. Once you write the exams, the result comes out within three hours. <laughs> Once you get your result, yeah, that fast. Once you get your results, you apply for an eligibility letter. The eligibility letter is a document stating that you are eligible to get a registered nursing license in Dubai. That letter is your gateway. That's the last step. Once you have your letter, you can apply with it in any company. And once you start, you are employed, the employer will now apply for your license, your Dubai Health Authority license with that letter. So that's pretty much the procedure, how it goes. Wow. So two questions. The first one is, can somebody do this living outside Dubai? And the second one is that the timelines, from the time you register and all the exams, did you take it in Dubai? Is it online? And the timelines from stage one to stage two to stage three. Can somebody do it from outside Dubai? Let's take that first, please. Yes, concerning the timelines for the very first part, which is the data flow verification procedure, it's very, very possible to start it from outside Dubai. I always advise my um, relatives, colleagues, friends to always start the process outside because the data flow verification takes pretty much a while. It can take up to three months. As It can be as quick as one and a half months. But it can be as slow as three months or three and a half months. And it's slow because uh, companies back home, our uh, schools, our uh, hospitals are not responding on time. That's what makes it slow. So you can start that process back home, and when it's time for you to take the exams, you come here and take your exams. The exams are not taken out of Dubai. The exams are only taken in Dubai, and it's a computer-based testing, multiple choice, and it's still 300 questions. You ask 300 questions, you answer the 300 questions, and all you need is 60% to get it passed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So the first part, we can start it from outside Dubai. But second part, we have to be yeah. in there to be able to take the test. Okay. So yeah. how different is this from the endless? I'm sure you've seen some of the endless questions. It's 265 and it's computer-based and it shuts down when you're doing well. Does this shut down or you, you have to answer all the 300 in how many hours? Okay. It doesn't shut down. It doesn't shut down. You answer all the 300 questions in three hours. All the, sorry, 150 questions, sorry, 150 questions in three hours. 
you take all the questions once you're done you leave the room so there is no shutdown like in clicks but it's computer based as well and you get your results pretty soon so wow so in three hours you mm -hmm. find that we well, found out the results yes afterwards actually it was not three hours because once i was done on my i went back home immediately i got home i opened my computer opened my dubai health authority web page and i saw fast sitting there <laughs> so, wow. Wow. <laughs> so all this information where do we go to find it online where what should the person type in google to know the requirements dubai health authority or where yeah, exactly. In order to be able to know the requirements, you type Dubai Health Authority and everything you need about, every information you need about the procedure, you get it on the Dubai Health Authority website. Also, the data verification process is pretty complicated, a bit complicated, and many people cannot really go through the hurdle in order to avoid making errors because it's quite delicate. So that's where I was able to get my consultancy, Fiona Care, to help nursing students, like a guide, to help nursing candidates to be able to go through this process without any stress, without any headache. So with me and my team here, we are able to process everything for you and apply to the Dubai Authority while you relax and study back home. Okay. So, you know, it's the consult season. As you know, I have used this RM Path consult. Fiona also has a consult. Do you want to tell us the name of your consult and how they can find you? A phone number or email or something? Of course, the consult consultancy is Fiona Care. Fiona Care because we care about your nursing journey in Dubai. We care about your success. We care about everything concerning your Dubai journey. So Fiona Care is a consultancy. It's a team of dedicated personnel that wants to help you facilitate your process to getting your nursing license in Dubai. It was so hard for me. I didn't know where to get questions. I didn't know who to ask. Mm -hmm. I struggled, fumbled, made errors, and I told myself I would be able to help people out through this. So that's why I was able to come up with Fiona Care Consultancy. And the email address is just Fiona in, I will leave it in the link, the email address, Fiona in at gmail.com. That's where you can find out whatever information you want to ask, whatever updates, you can be able to get it through that email address or through a phone number I will leave in the, in the description as well. Okay. So women empowering women, consultants this season, I'm very glad to make fiona come share the information with us that is also her name on the screen she's gonna have a youtube channel where she would walk you through how to work in dubai very soon so as i said when the channel is out i'll announce it here and also we'll link the website for you to be able to start your mm -hmm. nursing career in dubai it's gonna be in the description box people don't know how to get to the description box so you have to click on the topic it says show more or show less when you click you see all the links there. If you want to find us, US are part of your consult. People ask me every day, how do we contact you? My phone number, personal, the uh, WhatsApp number, email, everything is in the description box. So click on if you want to work in the in UAE, the US process is too long for you. You do not want to go to UK. Dubai is a place to go. And guess what? People are using Dubai as a transit point. You go there to work on your UK or US dream. And also Fiona, who is living and working in UAE, will be joining me very soon in America because she's on the endless iron journey. So you can use that as a transit point where you can make some money, save money, and finance your process to wherever country you want to go to. Okay, yeah. so I know when you were doing your process, you had a little bit of challenge. What are the mistakes you made that you would uh, like to highlight? I know you missed some of the letters that they sent. You did not know you can do something quicker than the usual time. You want to talk about mistakes people make when they're on this journey to working in Dubai as a foreign educated nurse? Yes, of course. One of the, the greatest mistakes I made was not starting on time. I could have started the procedure while I was back home, but I said, okay, let me get here first, try to get a job before i start the process and when i got here the only jobs i could get were nurse assistant jobs or nanny jobs because i didn't have the license so it made me start the process late and starting the process late means your data for verification process will be slower and will take a longer time so that was one thing i really regret you know time is very essential in this 
procedure. So that was the first mistake I made, time mistake. The second mistake I made was getting locked in the website, the data flow website. It really, it's really complicated. You need to start here, you finish here, you go there. So I spent so many, I spent most a week to get through, to get my documents through, pay the fee and apply. It took me so much time. Another error I did was I didn't know how to check my results. I was told that I'll get an email as to my results. So as a matter of fact, since I have a master's degree in anesthesia back home, I had to take two exams. So when I took the first exam, the anesthesia tech exam, because there are no nurse anesthetists here, they're just anesthesia technicians. So I first of all took the anesthesia technician exam and since I knew that my results would be sent to my email, I took the exams on December 14, and I came home, stayed, and waited. I kept waiting, checking my email with all the anxiety, nothing. So I got so worried. And <laughs> imagine you're waiting for results when results are already in your Dubai Health Authority profile. I hadn't any idea about that. So I went now on the 19th to take my registered nursing exams as well. So when I went, I asked. They told me, no, it will be sent to you within three. It should be in your email already within three to five working days. And I said, okay, after I took the exams, I went back home. I now searched on YouTube. Immediately I came on my search on YouTube how to check your results. They told me, go to your Dubai Health Authority website, open this, open that, and you see your results. And lo and behold, I had just got home from writing the second exam. When I opened my YouTube at my Dubai Health Authority website, I now checked where I was asked to. And I saw the results on the 14th. I saw a pass on the 14th and another pass on the 19th for the registered nursing exams. And I was like, oh God, ignorance is terrible, terrible, terrible. Imagine the time frame would have been enough for me to get my energy, this letter in my hands and back interviews. I missed interviews during those times because I didn't have the letter. You must have the letter in order to go for an interview. So imagine such errors. It really dawned on me. But with Fiona Care, you won't go through that anymore. We are here to take care of that for you. Okay. So two major questions. What type of nurses do they need? Number two, how much is involved in this process? How do they start it every day? Exam, how much do you pay? So what type of nurses first? And how much per, per stage do they need, like the process? Aside your consultation fee. Guys, pardon me if I'm screaming or yelling. Uh, Fiona sound is a little bit low. Uh, pardon our picture quality and sound. I uh, hope you can hear the message very clearly. So my next question is that what type of nurse can work in Dubai? What type of nurse? What kind of category of nurses can work there? In Dubai, you can work here as a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree in nursing. You can equally work as a an, an, an assistant nurse when you have as, an HND in nursing. Because with an HND in nursing, you cannot work as a registered nurse. You can only work as an assistant nurse here. But you all, you both take the, the Dubai Authority exams. You go through pretty much the same process, but your titles, you take the same exams, go through the same process, but your titles are different, yeah. And your salaries are definitely different as well. So I always encourage people, if you have the opportunity to do your bachelor's degree after your HND, please do. But if not, it's still fine. You'll still be able to earn better here, even with the nurse assistant license. Okay. So if you are watching and you are wondering what HND is, the, in Ghana, it's equal to the diploma nurse that you are. So you can work there with your diploma nursing, but you'll be a nursing assistant. But if you have yeah. BSN, or if you're watching from Nigeria, BNSC, if you have a first degree in nursing, you can work as a registered nurse in Dubai. So what yeah. fields can somebody work? What area of nursing can somebody work? You are an RN. Which side are you working? What kind of ward or unit or floor are you working? So as an RN, you pretty much get a, you easily get a job in your area of expertise, depending on your experience. If you have experience in med search, in ICU, in operating theater, you easily get a job in that domain. But still, if you want to search, you don't want to do operating theater anymore, you want to work in the OPD or in another domain, so long as you meet the requirements yes. and the employer is desperate to hire you, they'll hire you because you have the experience that is needed. Yeah. Okay, two questions. It's all about money. How much does a nursing assistant make? Is it monthly? Are you paid monthly? And how much does a registered nurse make? And are they also paid monthly? 
and somebody who wants to do this are there agencies recruiting people or you have to do it as an individual so salary and agency are the questions so for respect to how much a, the registered nurse makes it varies from the it varies with the company you're working with it varies with your number of years of experience and also with the number of years you have made in dubai surprisingly yeah wow. so a nurse a registered nurse makes approximately um i'll say it in dirhams you may tell me in dollars yeah, so a registered nurse makes approximately um, 6,000 to 9,000 dirhams per month. And here they are paid monthly, not every two weeks like in America. So that's what a registered nurse makes. And an assistant nurse can make about 4,000 to about 6,500 dirhams, depending on where they find themselves for sure. Wow, that's good money. And as you can see, yeah, this so the dollar equivalents are attached to the screen. Yes, please. So with respect to agencies, yes, there are agencies that you can apply through. You can apply for a job through an agency and they will link you to an employer and you discuss with the employers how much you earn. There are agencies who would help you get a job without you paying anything. But there are others who will ask you for money in return. So I always advise my friends to apply for their jobs themselves and bargain with the potential employers so that they will not be cheated. Yeah. So it's easy to, you can get a job on your own. You must not pass through an agency. Yes. So these jobs, are they all in the Dubai? The Dubai we see on TV with the skyscrapers. Are the jobs around there or outskirts as well? And are you giving accommodation or you have to find your own accommodation? And how is that? Cost of living is high, obviously. Yeah, with um, the jobs, they are in Dubai. The, the outskirts of Dubai are all very, very accessible. So if you find yourself in the outskirts of Dubai, probably the company will provide you an accommodation there. The good thing with Dubai is that you can get a job and the company will provide you accommodation, provide you, take care of your bills, take off your transportation, and you go back home with your full paycheck in your pocket. And also it's a tax-free system. If you sign $500 in your contract, $500 you would get you will not get any deductions whatsoever for that. Yeah, it's not like in America where the higher you earn, the oh, more yeah, taxes you pay. <laughs> oh my God, America. So, so that's it. But still, if you you are working with a company and you do not want to live in their company accommodation because probably you're married or one or two things, you can find your own accommodation. Yeah, it's true. Cost of living is pretty much high. It's a touristic site. Everyone's coming here. Everyone is... Everyone wants to see Dubai and all that. Yeah, but you can sell through it with the salary you make. Yeah, that's very possible. Okay. You mentioned something about your stay in Dubai counts towards your job or how much you are paid. So if I stayed in Dubai for a year as a house up and I just applied for a uh, for nursing job, are they going to consider my one year that I stayed in Dubai? Yeah, the stay in Dubai, I mean, it means experience working in dubai or experience working in the united arab emirates okay. a newbie coming from cameroon applying for a job with someone who has been here who has worked here for one year two years when they both of them go to apply for a job they obviously prioritize the the person who has experience here because seriously the system here is a bit different from back home we need to learn the system we need to get adapted to it especially with this insurance stuff and all it was so new to me. I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, because back home, we just pay cash and carry. You pay for your services and everything is done. They hear the insurance system, billings and all that. They are different. So working here for a longer time makes you much more eligible to get a better pay job and even better salary yeah. than someone who just came for sure. Okay, you just captured the question out of my mouth. My next question is, how has the experience been like working in uh, Dubai, as somebody who schooled in Africa, how has the experience been? Like, what kind of floor do you work or ward or unit? Uh, what do they call it? Well, the experience is completely different. Mm -hmm. The nursing, the technical aspect of it, the, the technical aspect of nursing is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But the experience, the environment, the materials at your disposal are different. Back home, I had experience in the operating theater since I was um, a nurse anesthetist. Well, so I was pretty much the operating theater and med search. But now I'm working in the operate in the OPD outpatient department. Mm -hmm. So here I get to familiarize myself with different procedures, meeting different people. Because in our outpatient department, we do quite a lot. We have the dermatology clinic, the orthopedic clinic, the primary medicine clinic, the endocrinology clinic, the neurology clinic. So it's like a small microcosm of yeah of a hospital. Mm -hmm. So we need to meet this patient. We need to do collect blood samples. We need to to do point of care testings for glucose, yeah. for urinalysis, yeah, for urine and other things. So the it's really equipped fully equipped for you yeah. to be able to do your work very well and efficiently and also the way it is it is organized it's easy to see so many patients within one day at a time because it's very organized mm -hmm. so we get so at times we get so busy and at the end of the day realize that you have seen so many patients during a very short period of time because of the way the workload is organized and because of the way yeah. everything yeah. is here okay so any regrets so far? Any advice for anybody before we leave? My one main advice I want to give is that, first of all, many people don't know that there are opportunities in Dubai. The very first thing I want to say is, if IELTS is too difficult for you to take, if the USA, Canada processes are so hard, yeah. if you have been denied visas 100 times at the US yeah. and Canada embassy, please yeah. come to Dubai. They want you, they want you to come, they want you to help their economy grow by providing your wonderful services. So come to Dubai, start the journey, come here, and from here you can look better where you really want to go next. Because trust me, the opportunities are enormous yeah. here. Yeah. yeah, and you'll be much better than back home for sure. So with here, you'll be able to save enough money in order to move somewhere else if you want to. But still, you can stay, because the longer you stay, the more money you will make for sure because you'll get a good experience for people. Yeah. So as you already know, this is the information hub. We bring the information to you hot, hot and back to back. I'm so glad I've just let this out. Most people don't know there's an opportunity. Personally, I just found out about a year ago when I found a colleague doctor who was working there. So I'm like, wow, people didn't know they can work there. And it's not too far away from home. So people travel to Dubai to have fun. But you can travel to Dubai to make money. You can go there and work as a diploma nurse, mm -hmm. HND, or as a BSN, and uh, I'm sure they will train you on the job. So the process, when you applied, when, uh, how long did it take you for the whole thing? You mentioned, did you mention the, the beginning to the end, the timeline? The duration for the procedure? Mm -hmm. The duration for the procedure is uh, approximately, let's say within four months, wow. within four months, like four wow. months, you'll be a registered wow. nurse in Dubai working. Wow. Wow. Yes, because once you get the license, they want the license. Without yeah. the license, you can't get a good registered nursing job or assistant nursing job. Once you get the license as a registered nurse or as an assistant nurse, you'll be able to find something to do pretty soon. If you find something doing and it's not, um, you think you want something better afterwards, you can change afterwards, but it's pretty much easier than back home for sure. Okay, so basically, I started the process back home. I entered Dubai to take the exams. I get out, get my results, and find jobs and come back. Is that no, it? no. Okay. You start the process back home. Mm -hmm. After, let's say, for instance, three months, your data flow verification report is done. Apply for your tourist visa, three months visa. You come here. Once you come here, we register you for your exams. Immediately, you take your exams. You get your results. The next thing is the eligibility letter. Once your, elig your eligibility letter comes out within three to five working days, just three to five working days. Wow. Yes. So once you have your eligibility letter in your hands, that's your tool. That's what you need to help you find the jobs. That's what you need to help you back interviews with employers and potential employers. Yeah, for sure. So after the eligibility letter, you are good to go. So with the eligibility letter in your pocket, you're already a registered nurse. Yeah. Here. 
<laughs> so that's that quick. You don't need to take IELTS or OET. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, so if you don't want to take IELTS, OET, and don't want to go through the US process for whatever, 10 to 2 yeah. years or whatever, start from Dubai. Work there, save money. I'm so glad Fiona is here. She's shared this, and I'm going to bring her back because I know you have a lot of comments. Leave the comments in the comment section, and we'll tackle them one at a time for you. I am so okay. proud of you for your journey. And those of you, you doing nanny and are nurses in Dubai, you can work in Dubai as a registered nurse. Find Fiona Kerr and she will take you to the process. I'm going to leave all her contacts in the inbox. And when her YouTube comes up, I'm so happy that she's going to go on this YouTube. And <laughs> we'll, be going, we'll be giving you side by side. We'll do Dubai version. We'll do US version. And we'll cover all that. There are so many opportunities out there. Get out of your comfort zone and you will not regret it. We are not saying living abroad is easy. It is not. Not it's, at all. It's yeah. not for the faint hearted. We have our challenges, <laughs> but it's best, it's best and it's worth it. So thank you very much, Fiona, for your time. And I'll see you again because you're gonna be back here as thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye.